And much like these folks here in Colorado, there is a group of ranchers in Northern California that's joined forces with environmentalists. And the result is benefiting everyone, no matter which side of the fence they are on. In the high mountain meadows above California's Sacramento Valley, a quiet revolution is taking place. When local ranchers Scott and Patty Thompson walk through this part of their property today, they barely recognize it from just a couple of years ago. Remember how that channel that used to be right there was a problem? All along yeah. Red Clover Creek on the upper Feather River watershed, the sagebrush is giving way to willows and running water. For the most part, up until that, the line of willows there, this whole thing was solid sagebrush. It's 100% different. It's, it's completely different from the old days. <laughs> Scott's family ranch is part of a unique cooperative project teaming ranchers, government, and conservationists in restoring the natural watersheds in these upper elevations, especially where they've been degraded from generations of erosion. Once a meadow like this becomes degraded, the water that's moving through it starts to cut itself deep channels like this one. Once the water becomes confined to these channels, everything else on top just dries out. And then you're left with more or less a sagebrush prairie, which isn't much good for grazing or anything else. But using a method called pond and plug, the local watershed management group came in with Scott's permission and restored the original hydrology of these meadows, reviving what they call the remnant channels and raising the water table back to the meadow's surface. Immediately we see the improvement of, of forage and vegetation. Better forage means beefier cattle and a better price for Scott's Black Angus beef. Our bottom line is pounds that we can produce. The greener and the, the better the quality of the forage, is, it, it's going to be what the animals consume and that's what's going to equate to pounds. The science and commitment behind the Pond and Plug program is embodied in Jim Wilcox, who has navigated some rough waters to see his vision realized. This piece of dam is only a week old. It wasn't here last week. But he figures he's now overseen dozens of Pond and Plug operations to restore watersheds in this part of the Sierra Nevada. The restored meadows act like giant sponges that hold onto the water longer into the season. The whole valley begins to green up and wildlife, long since vanished, begins to move back in. Two years ago, right here, we started the construction of this project. There's a couple of young ducks there. There was no, there was nothing right here but sagebrush. We finally were able to, to convince folks that, that it, was a, it was a good risk and a, uh, a good place to, to demonstrate the technology, so we were able to implement it. There's a lot of water in here. It looks yeah, good. It does. Yeah. It looks really good. Well, it's, you know, it's been coming along every year ever since we put those riffles in. This is federal land, permitted for grazing. One of the problems, one of the resource concerns was the dewatering of this meadow. And um, our goal was to try to hold water in the system and be able to keep a longer green period here, improve water quality, and um, improve wildlife habitat. At the time, Cece was working as a rangeland specialist for the Forest Service, which was a little nervous about trying out a new technology. We were worried that if we move all that volume of water into a new channel in the center of the creek, that there's a possibility that we could get another gully right through the, ch the center of that uh, meadow. In the end, they decided to bet on the pond and plug approach, and it paid off. It's just phenomenal, the amount of water we've got now, um, the habitat, the plant diversity. It's just been a win-win for everybody. And that encouraged ranchers like the Thompsons to try it out on their own property. Seeing really the, some of the old stuff and how just low the water was getting was, it was just, I think the improvement here is amazing. I think it's going to benefit everything up there, which is our goal, you know. It's a beautiful area and it, that's the way we want to keep it. We want to preserve that. 